Hello friends, welcome back to yet another video on Dr. Stocks. So this video is going to be very important for you because in this video, I will discuss about how to read the standard textbooks like Love and Belly, Robbins, Harrison's, Guyton and Gannon and etc. Friends, in this video, I will discuss about the most simple and efficient way to read these standard books. And friends, in the end, I will show you exact sample how to do it in the right way. So please watch this video till the end. This video is going to be very important for you. I will come up with more such informative videos. So please like and subscribe this channel. Without further wasting time, let's continue. Friends, as we all know that majority of students do not have habit of reading the standard textbooks. But when they enter into their post-graduation, reading the standard textbooks is almost must. So in this video, I will discuss about most efficient and simplest way to read and highlight and take notes from those standard textbooks. So friends, first of all, you have to choose the topics which you have to read. If you don't know about which topics you should read, then you can watch my video on how to select topics for reading to pass theory examinations in MD and DNB. If you want to watch that video, you can watch it from this link. Whenever you are reading any topic, just think about the questions which can be asked from that topic and highlight only that portion which you can write in the exam. Because in exam, you cannot write each and everything. So friends, first of all, you should have three highlighters. One is for marking the headings. Second one is for marking the main text, which you will read again and again and which you will write in exam. And third one is for special points, which you are feeling that these are important for clinical practice or for neat SS examination. So friends, I will show you a sample by opening a topic uh, that is malaria in Harrison's. So look at the screen now. So friends, I have opened a malaria topic and uh, I have chosen three highlighters. Blue one is for headings and uh, green one is for text and this purple one is for the special points. So let's start reading. So for example, we will start with the paragraph one. Malaria is a protozoan disease transmitted by a bite of infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. So friends, here you can highlight it that it is transmitted by. Transmitted by is the heading and the answer of this transmitted by is Anopheles mosquito, female Anopheles mosquito. That's, that's how you have to do for the whole paragraph. It is also important thing that it is a protozoan disease. So only three points are important in this paragraph. That is protozoan disease transmitted by female Anopheles mosquitoes. So as you can see, the not more than two, three points are important in this paragraph, which can be written in exam. So when you will read this again, then you can read only highlighted portion and it will save 80 to 90 percent of your time. So let's uh, continue further. Now we will <coughs> read about etiology and pathogenesis. Six species of genus Plasmodium cause nearly all malarial infections. So you can highlight six species. Okay. And directly you will highlight the name of these species. Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium ovale, Plasmodium malaria. Plasmodium nolesi and these things. So friends, as you can see, it will be really very easy for you when you will read next time. When directly you will see that in etiology and pathogenesis, there are six species and names are already highlighted. You don't have to read any uh, other things because other things will not be very useful for you and even you will not be able to write that in the exam even if you read it. You can highlight occasionally Plasmodium simium and Plasmodium cyanomology is there. Okay. This is an important point you can highlight almost all deaths are caused by Plasmodium falciparum malarias. Okay. Whenever you see a figure in the text, then look at the figure first because that will answer most of the questions given in that paragraph. So as you can see figure 224-1 is written here. So directly go to the figure. As you can see here, that whole malaria transmission cycle is given. So you have to just read this only for that paragraph. Okay. After reading that paragraph and after reading this cycle, you have to draw this cycle in the exam. So friends, now let's read clinical features. Malaria is a <coughs> common cause of fever in tropical countries. So here you can see there is first clinical feature that is fever. Clinical diagnosis is notoriously unreliable. First symptoms of malaria. So friends, again, you can see first symptoms of malaria. This is a heading. First symptoms of malaria are, you can see, that is non-specific and non-specific are lack of sense of well-being, headache, fatigue 
एबडोमिनल डिसकम्फर्ट मलेरिय लैकेज एंड फीवर सिम्टम्स ऑफ वायरल इलनेस सो फ्रेंड्स सो यू कैन सी फर्स्ट सिम्टम्स ऑफ मलेरिया आर दीज सो वी विल कंटिन्यू फर्दर हेयर इट इज रिटर्न दैट नोजिया वॉमिटिंग ऑर्थोस्टेटिक हाइपर टेंशन आर कॉमन एंड इन नेक्स्ट लाइन इट इज रिटर्न दैट देर इज क्लासिकल मेलोरियल प्रोक्सिजम्स वी विल हाईलाइट दिस इन ब्लू एंड द क्लासिकल मलेरियल प्रोक्सिजम्स आर स्पाइकी फीवर्स चिल्स राइगर्स एट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स विच सजेस्ट इन्फेक्शन ओफन रिलैप्स विद प्लाज्मोडियम वाइवेक्स एंड प्लाज्मोडियम ओवेल तो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज हाउ यू कैन हाईलाइट द होल पैराग्राफ्स एंड वैन यू विल राइट नोट्स आफ्टर हाईलाइटिंग द टेक्सट इट विल बी वेरी इजी फॉर यू बिकॉज यू विल बी यूजिंग योर ब्लू हाईलाइटेड टेक्सट एज ए हेडिंग्स एंड ग्रीन हाईलाइटेड टेक्सट एज द मेन टेक्सट एंड दिस विल हेल्प यू इन रिवाइजिंग द नोट्स अगेन एंड अगेन ड्यूरिंग एंड जस्ट बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन एंड फ्रेंड्स लेट मी टेल यू आई अपलाइड द सेम टेक्निक टू मेक एंड रीड द नोट्स एंड आई रिवाइज माई नोट्स ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज बिफोर एग्जाम्स ट्वाइस so that i could clear my dnb theory examinations in first attempt i hope this technique will help you in clearing your dnb theory examinations i hope you like this video see you in the next video till then myself dr nishant signing off stay blessed